is love before this dream is over Let our troubles drift away on the morning breeze Let the sunlight soothe us in the places we got broken Till the darkness is a distant memory And you tell me you've got battle scars And if I love you, will I love the wounded parts? Somehow I'd forgotten in the chaos of existence There is always something beautiful to see Caught up in the lies and all the psycho-talk and reasons I forgot about the simple poetry And I tell you I've got battle scars And if you love me Will you love the wounded parts We've all got battle scars We didn't Thank you very much. It's great to be here at Visual Radio Arts once again and, um, and be here with The Broken Road. So this next one, it's one of the singles we released from the album before it came out. And, uh, It's called Where Words Don't Go. Yeah. 
tricky conversation A love that's on the line The same old explanations for the chaos in your mind I've heard all your reasons But silence never lies It begs me to believe what I the heart can only know Meet me in the place where words don't go Meet me in the place where words don't go
with the scent of desert in the air and strange red sun in the sky reached out for you and where you lay and left in the middle of the night with no words of love and no kisses to speak of your time and you won't let me in promise me something you won't let the hate win cause it's a strange red sun and the lights disappeared it's a strange red sun in the sky it's a strange red sun and the storms ever near better pray Thank you. That's Rob Bryan on the drums there. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. And we have Joe Coombs on the guitar over here. Yeah, thank you. And this is Stuart Bruce on the bass.
I don't think you're allowed. So we recently went to make a video in a, a secret place in an old derelict building. And um, turned out it was uh, on top of a, a World War II ammunition dump. We didn't consult health and safety. And if you watch the video and look at the floor, you'll see why. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, nobody fell through. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, the, the uh, ammunition had gone quite a while ago. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. In the aftermath When you're crawling in the dust And you're clinging to the wreckage And the loss Everything is broken Nothing's making sense Given where you find yourself Who cares what they meant
Thanks. Well, nearly all of the songs that we're playing tonight is um, from the new album, The Broken Road Back Home. But um, we're also we've also playing a couple um, from some of my older albums, and uh, we had a go at this one. Uh, I just loved what everybody did on it, so we're gonna do this one for you from my first album, in fact. Quite appropriate.
Joe Coombs again on the guitar, and the lovely solo.
Thank you. Take 
Hey, it's a brand new day. That's what you'd say. That's what you'd say. You do what nobody can do. Thank you very much. That last song is currently in the Fab chart. I'm not really sure what the Fab chart is, but it's number one. So I think they're Fab. Hmm. That brings us to our last song tonight. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure to play here. Visual Radio Arts, sound check. So huge thanks to Phil and to Max for all they do to bring the music to those who want to listen. And thank you so much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Um, this again, so this is Stuart Bruce on the bass, Rob Bryan on the drums, and Joe Coombs on the guitar, and I'm Jennifer Crook. And... Uh, Come and find out more at jenniferkrook.com. And we have CDs. If you like the songs and you want to buy a CD, please do.
Good evening and welcome to Soundcheck from Visual Radio Arts. And tonight's show has seen a great set from Jennifer Crook and The Broken Road. Here are the band all around me. So um, let's do some introductions. So to my immediate left, it's Jennifer, it Jennifer is. Crook. Yes. You'll have to use your microphone. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and to her left, we have... Uh, Joe on electric guitar. Super. To my right... Stuart Bruce on bass. And in the corner, on the naughty step. <laughs> As ever. Um, my name is Robert Bryant and I play drums and percussion. Ta da Brilliant. Right. So, um, great set tonight. Really enjoyed it. Thank Fantastic. You. Thanks. Um, if I think back to the set that you did with us, uh, I think it was either 2017 or 2018, things have changed a lot. They have. They have changed a lot. Yes. No harp for a start. No harp. Yeah, no banjo. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I, I, I wanted to do it. the album that's just come out, The Broken Road Back Home, is really the kind of album I've wanted to make for a very long time. And it really came together through working on the songs, um, working with Stuart, who co-produced the album with me. And we really looked at, I wanted to do it from the point of view, what do the songs want? Not, mm. I've got this instrument or that instrument, so that's what it's going to mm. be. But just from the point of view of the songs and then we thought, uh, well, we'd love a bit of electric guitar and slides. Mm. We got in touch with Joe and Robbie, we both knew very well and knew that he was the best drummer for the job, no questions yeah. asked, so that was easy. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Um, and obviously on the album we have Hammond, well, it's, uh, it's that, that kind of sound, that kind of slightly, mm. um, I guess it's slightly 60s kind of, but also uh, we recorded quite a lot of things live or certainly we tracked it live, mm. so it's got that vibe as well. Mm. Um, but yeah, so, so really for me, I, I just kind of, I've always written songs, I've got hundreds of songs that weren't quite finished, I hadn't found the right band or they 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 were just sitting there not doing anything mm. and um so when i was look, sort of gathering songs together um which was really you know 2020 mm. <laughs> like a lot of other people yeah when we were all in our <clears throat> bedrooms waiting for the world to change exactly and i think um, certain songs that I'd started or half finished seemed to really resonate at that mm. time. Um, I, one that we did, Build a Shelter, you know, haven't seen a soul around here for days, mm. um, you know, that kind yeah. of thing. Um, and then, and so it started taking shape from kind of the, 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 the sort of messages in the songs and, um, and, and then, and, and then it, yeah, built built from mm. there. You did some songs tonight um, that were from your earlier mm. repertoire. Yeah. And I think they, they translated really well into the new band setting. Thank um, you. I'm glad you think that, because yeah. I think so too. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, I think it added, added something that was sitting underneath the surface but wasn't exposed mm -hmm. on those songs before. Yeah. I, I, I think... Um, well, I, I think... Stuart would say a similar similar thing. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's because you know, obviously, once the album came together, and I mean, Jen had obviously more songs than that. Yeah. Um, and you know, it was the songs that sit, that sat with each other, mm. and then there was it just felt like there was a common theme running through all of them, which was interesting because some of them were new and some of them were quite old, weren't they? Mm. You know, so mm. I mean, it wasn't like you you just wrote a set of songs that you felt would sit together as an album. No. They, mm. they started to call out to each other and then, you know, the sound of the band came together very naturally because Jen had said to me, you know, she wanted to work with an electric band. Mm. And, you know, we're just, you know, I mean, uh, Rob and I have played together for years and years and years. And, and in fact, you played with Jen years ago as well, didn't you? you know? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We've yeah. done odds and yeah. sorts and things, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and Joe was kind of, in a way, the newcomer mm. to the band. 
Um, Fresh face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not so much now, but he was there. Yeah. 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 So did you know? Also, did you know Joe already, or, or did you seek out someone who could do we, we, what we, Joe was I, doing? We were a guitar player, weren't we? Yeah. Yes, I was recommended Joe by two different friends, mm. music friends actually, mm. and they they both said, you know, he'd be great, and then gave him a call and just kind of lo and behold, re really felt yeah. like, yep. They were right. Yeah. Yes, they were dead absolutely. right. But Joe, you're quite busy with with other projects. So, um, did, did the decision to kind of hook up with these guys mm. was was that kind of complicated or? Um, well, it kind of fell at a, at a very a very good time in a way. It it fell during 2020, which yeah. unfortunately was during the pandemic. You yeah. know, but it was at a time where I was kind of you know there was like a kind of big reset I think of what everybody was doing and kind of figuring out their path forward out of the pandemic. You know, mm. and uh, when I got recommended to to Jennifer and Stuart, um, it was it was just fantastic. And they um, they came to me and said that they've got like a body of work that they want to record, mm. and uh, so I was very much up for it, you know. And they so I got sent the demos and stuff, and I immediately, you know, mm. really loved the songs, yeah. And uh, felt very honoured that the the sort of time that I came in, they were still kind of they were fully fledged songs, but in terms of the sound and direction on them, yeah. they were still up for, yeah. you know, I was allowed to be a collaborative part of that as yeah. opposed to going in and being sort of like A, B, C, D, yeah. you know, I was allowed to really bring mm. what I can to the table, you know, mm. and, yeah. and it really gave me a chance to kind of experiment as a, mm. as a musician and stuff mm. to try and try and cater the guitar really to the music and make it, make it a fabric of the songs, you know? Yeah. So rather than it just being a guitar that does the guitar job all the time, mm. also bringing it into maybe, you know, do more textural stuff, you know, yeah. and experimenting with reverbs and delays yeah, and stuff yeah. to try and, you know, with, especially with songs like Strange Red Sun, yeah. um, which are, you know, as soon as I heard that, there was, there was this really deep, moody, ambient thing mm. that sort of came to mind, you know, and, imme mm. and immediately that just worked in the song mm. when we were when we were tracking mm. it you know and it was great to also come in and record live with with these guys mm. as well you know we yeah. had a we had a really fun time and i think there's a lot to be said for recording live yeah rather well, there, than there, going there, through you know. there is a thing about that but i mean mm. as a producer um you know it depends because if you're working with a solo artist and your kind of initial part of this would be thinking about you know jen as a solo artist mm. Um, there's always the temptation to sort of mix and match people to different songs and you often hear albums where you know there's a whole bunch of different flavors sitting together but Jem was incredibly insistent which is why we're co-producing the record and yeah and and, and mm. because it, there was a real insistence from Jen that she wanted a very coherent feel to it mm. and but as a producer who's made a lot of different records I would say that um, you have to be really confident in the band, mm. the musicians that are around someone, in order to let the process happen in the way that it has yeah. happened. But, mm. you know, from the moment we first played together, yeah. we knew that we had something special. Mm. And so the idea of going, OK, we're not going to write everybody's part. We're not mm. going to demand... That Sorry yeah. to interrupt, but you, yeah. I just need to oh, use that even, a bit closer. Even closer, right. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're not going to demand that everybody, you know, do something that we... Uh, slavishly follow something that we do. Mm. And it's been a very organic process in the studio. Mm. And, and, able to and actually, it's still developing now, mm. isn't yeah. it? I mean, we're doing things uh, just recently that... Um, uh, only, only kind of developed last week yeah. <laughs> through, through playing the through songs play. live. Yeah, you know? playing and live, yeah. figuring Absolutely. them out and where they fit mm. in a set, and mm. you know, yeah. it's it, it's very important to us as a band, like the live show in terms of how it's structured. Mm. You know, the the order of the songs is 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 so key to how the audiences take the music. You know, because yeah. a couple of songs in the wrong places that they really don't fit in can really you know yeah. alter yeah. the vibe yeah. you know so yeah. it's it's very important that we take you know the audiences through like you know an hour or, or whatever mm. um for a, a real journey through yeah. like Jen's songwriting and all the ups and downs that come with that you know dynamically and, and stuff you know yeah the, there's a couple of things I want to ask you all about individually but I'm going to start over with Joe because mm. um I yeah. don't know which song it is but there was one song in particular where 
you added sort of like a, a load of tremolo mm -hmm. into the sound, mm. but it didn't, there wasn't a sort of like a shift. It, it just effortlessly appeared. Mm. Mm. And I can't remember which the song is, but it was probably about, I don't know, four, four-ish songs in, something like that. It could potentially be Aftermath, because there's a, there's a guitar solo that yeah. has a lot of tremolo on it, yeah. which kind of does actually sort of come out of nowhere but because I'm because of the sort of arpeggios I'm kind of playing it does still it's still yeah. the right part you yeah know, the part yeah. was and that was something that we worked a lot on when we were in the studio is getting the part right yeah. for that solo because immediately when it came along it was like this isn't your standard guitar solo where mm. you go up to the mm. 12th fret and yeah. have fun for yeah. two minutes yeah. you know it yeah. was it was like yeah. try and try and do something that actually still creates yeah. a foundation for the song to just keep moving in mm and just adds another sort of slight melodic and dynamic mm. shift, you know. So for people at home um, who are thinking about getting the CD, it's kind of stick the headphones on as well because you're going to get a Absolutely. load more out of it once you start Def to really listen. Definitely, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Get get the expensive hi-fi out yeah. if you can because, you know, Stuart will thank you. you yeah. know. No, absolutely. I mean, there's, 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 yeah. a lot of, there's a lot of detail. There's a lot yeah. of detail in this record mm. and there's a lot of subtlety in there as well yeah. and, and it really does bear... You know, uh, multiple listens. I so, would say. so the question I've got to ask you is: I think the track is, and I haven't got the whole of it. Meet me in the place, and then I lost track of the rest of the words. But mm -hmm. it's that song. Yeah. The bass in there sounds. You haven't got fretless here. No. It, but it sounded like a fretless bass. Yeah. That's well, amazing. Just, I, I, it, there's a lot of sliding about. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Um, uh, Probably my favourite song of the evening, to be honest. Uh, great. Where, where words don't go. Yeah, where yes. words is that don't the one? Go. Yeah. yeah, and it, it's Meet funny because go, yes. because in fact, I bought a fretless recently specifically for live with this band. Mm -hmm. We tried it in rehearsal, and we decided that, despite the fact that I've recorded with fretless on one or two mm. tunes. Mm -hmm. um, we just prefer the sound of what I'm using, so yeah. mm. um, we just decided, okay, it's, you know, maybe mm. that maybe that will come out later. Yeah, but not now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, but but you know, sliding from you know, it's it, there's a lot of sliding around. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But it sits with the song. Yeah, it's like everything that happens on all these songs is everything that we do is there to serve the song. Yeah. Mm. You know, exactly. Because yeah. the song is king, yeah. you know, it's it's absolutely mm. the most important thing that's going on. Which brings me on to what you're doing, Rob, <coughs> insofar yes. as there are some songs in there that you've got to have a, a reasonable amount of discipline to not go too far on on, on the drum side of it because yes. it would kind of get in the way. Absolutely. And um, I suppose they will all say that's why you're the drummer for the for this <laughs> band, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Rob's Rob's the most musical drummer that I know. Rob he, is king. He, he, it's unbelievable yeah. how he can follow a song, mm. and and I just think I think it's because you you listen all the time, don't you? You you never stop listening. I, I am listening, you know, one hundred percent of the time, um, and that, that just comes from an improvising background of playing a lot of mm. jazz music and mm. improvised music. And so when we played that little segue between songs, when we did it in rehearsal, just we just started doing it. It just flowed because mm. I'm always in that, that moment. And, and, and if, if the tempo moves a bit, you know, I'll go with that, you know, whichever way I'm a band drummer you know mm. i do many gigs as, as you know you know mm. on click and loads of albums are on click and i'm happy in that environment but there's nothing quite like playing with real musicians like these guys who just mm. it, and i follow jen and, and if jen feels like she wants to just pull that back a little bit i'll i'll go with that mm. and and that means that you know nothing's metronomic it's got feel and it's got mm. emotion and mm. that's what we're trying to get mm. and as a drummer that's one of the hardest things to because one of these guys gets on a melodic instrument and plays you know a minor key and everyone's like oh that's really sad it's hard to do that on the drums mm. you know <laughs> i mean i could play a slow rhythm and they probably think is he a bit upset or yeah. if i play really fast boom, bah, bah, but i think he's really happy so it's really hard to emote <laughs> so i have to find other ways of doing it through my note choices and what parts of the kit i play and yeah. when and and, and the volume of it and the mm. dynamic of it. Mm. So I, I love a challenge like this, and mm. it's just yeah. such a musical band for me to play, and it, it's perfect. And some of the some of the drumming on the album, I have to say, it's just exquisite. Mm. You know, I it'll mean, go to his head. Yeah. You can have to. No, it won't. Well, he's never told me that before. <laughs> he has now. Well, that's brilliant. Thank you. I'm the greatest. I think I, rem I remember thinking after we first started doing some stuff, it, it was almost like 
Rob was playing, it was as if he was there when I wrote the song. It was exactly what mm. the song wanted. Mm. And, and, and that's what I love about it so much. And, and, and that thing about where I know you're kind of waiting for me and I'm kind of listening to you. I, I love, you know, that's, mm. that's great too. It, it, it adds a certain nice tension, it does. doesn't it? It does, it really does. Yeah. yeah. So um, in terms of um, gigs, it's, the season is almost over, isn't it? Now? It is, yeah. And so I guess you're looking to kind of what happens next year. More Pretty, than anything else. More than anything else. Um, I mean, where are we now? Um, um, October. October, yeah. October, yeah. <laughs> November, <laughs> November, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Approaching Christmas rapidly. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, mm. did, did you actually mm. say that? I'm not allowed to say that to me until <laughs> December. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're really looking at um, uh, what we're going to be doing next year. Obviously, festivals um, mm. are really like focusing on that at the moment because there's, there's some great festivals. And just, just for the band to um, be out and playing mm. in, in, front of, in front of more people and, and also it's always enjoyable isn't it yeah um and um but we're looking at the chance of going um uh, potentially going to also going over to germany maybe um yes we've, we've had a we've we've had a sort of you know a couple of questions come from germany at the mm. moment about you know what what's our availability to play and we've then, got some canada kind some of Canadian possibilities stuff maybe, yeah, as well yeah, which would be great which would be great um and um yeah so Going, you know, going abroad yeah. to play would be just, yeah, it's been a while. So, in, in, a, in a sort of a nutshell, next year you want to be out there gigging, promoting this album, and kind of getting it out, getting out there as, as, as much as possible to sort of share the word. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, we've got some other things um, in 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 the pipeline, which is uh, we've recorded a, a live EP. Mm -hmm. Um, which we did at Real World Studios. Um, so we're going to release that yeah. at some point next year. I haven't decided when yet. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I think also with we did a couple of songs tonight which were not from this album. Um, that uh, so they were they're, they're other songs of mine. Yeah. Um, and we want to do an, an EP or a recording. Um, of those as well, so there's mm. there's lots there's lots there. Um, to yeah, keep you busy. Yes, that's, that's going to yep. be a kind of you know uh, again that's going to be a live in the studio one. But this time we're actually yeah, we're, so we've decided that we're going back to uh, my uh, my my youth mm -hmm. when I used to record onto analog tape rather Ooh. than going into digital. So we're actually yeah. thinking about that. Yeah, so that would be a, an amazing yeah. experience. Mm. Yeah. Oh, and then uh, vinyl album come out on vinyl that's we're, we're, we're looking just at long that. lead times for vinyl aren't there nowadays ages and ages mm. um yeah so that's what we're looking into at the moment is how far ahead mm. will it be um and um so yeah hopefully kind of mm. next spring or ideally in time for record store day would be good yeah but, but i april the something. end of april is it I Sometime think around April. that rings a bell. Yeah. But I, but I, I really this this album. It feels like it should be on vinyl. It's always felt like that to me. Mm. You know, well, that's kind it's of a like very vinyl feeling album in yeah. terms yes. of I think you know the the concept of it and the mm. sounds. It it definitely feels like this should be the kind of album that you you put on a record player and you just sit. And mm. listen to yeah. it for mm. forty-five minutes, yeah. and you get yeah. totally wrapped up in the world. It's of so it. warm sounding. Yeah, mm. and I'm a big vinyl. That's exactly and, uh, what Rob does. Sit yeah. and That's all I do. Is sit and play records all day. Oh. <laughs> um, and this album just lends itself to that. Mm. And I think a lot of audio files out there would would buy it just yeah. to, to to listen to it. Yeah. You know, mm. And then eventually, like the album, of course, but would buy it because they've heard it's just going to be a great mm. sounding record. Mm. You know. And I think there's another strength in that. And then they'll mm. fall in love with it. Mm. You know. Not just oh, this sounds amazing, but the songs are great too. Mm. <laughs> well, I'd like to thank you all again for doing a fantastic set. Really enjoyed it. Um, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good yeah. Thank you. Had a great time. Back. Yeah. And I'd like to thank everybody um, out there in uh, in the real world who have been watching this uh, set tonight. Um, this is Visual Radio Arts, and this is Soundcheck, and we will be back with another band in a few weeks' time.
Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you. See ya. Thank Bye. you. Buy the record. <laughs>